everybody, and welcome back to episode four of Tech Talk with Amber. I'm your host, Amber Hookstra. Today, we're going to be talking about Microsoft Outlook's calendar feature, and I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on how to create a meeting. Now, whether you're a beginner or a professional, this tutorial will have something for you. So let's dive right in. So today we're going to talk about creating a meeting in Microsoft Outlook. I'm going to show you two ways to do this. One is from the app that's already preloaded on your computer. It's more of a traditional look. And then I'm also going to show you how to do it on the on online version. So let's jump into it. First, you're going to see that I already have my calendar open. And this is the app version, which is already downloaded onto your computer. Once you're here, you're going to go to create new meeting. This gives you an option to invite others to whatever it is that you're going to do. Um, so here you have the two bar, which is these are the people that you would be inviting to that meeting. Um, your subject's traditional. What is the topic of your meeting? And then location, where is it going to be? And then here's your start and end time. Um, a nice thing is on the right side of the screen, you're going to see conflicts. So as you start entering names here, the people you want to invite, it'll show if they have conflicts in their calendar already. So that's a really nice feature. Um, one thing that's interesting with the app version is that when you start to type a name, so I have Casey Denton. Um, let's say I also want to write uh, Ryan Whitlock, but it's not already popping up because I haven't sent him an email in this interface before. So what I'm going to do is go up to this middle section right here that says check names. You'll click that. It automatically finds Ryan Whitlock. Um, so if you're typing in a name, you're not 100% sure how to spell it. You don't know where exactly that person's located. Start typing in as best you can and then go in and check the names and it's going to run it against the directory that we already have here at Metro Tech. So it's really great. So I'm going to have a meeting um, with Casey and Ryan about CIS and ed tech integration. Mm -hmm. And I want to have it at South Bryant in the conference room. I really can't type. Um, and let's say we're going to do this meeting on Friday, the 23rd. Um, and let's say we're going to do it at, um, let's do 1 o'clock to 1.30. So as you can see, I've already filled out the the to, to whom, the place, the subject, and the date and time. Once that's done, you would just hit send, and it's going to send an invitation to those people that you have just invited to that meeting. So this is how you do an invitation for a meeting on the app version, which again is what is already downloaded to your computer. So now we're going to take a look at how you do it on the online version of Outlook. So you're going to notice this page looks a little bit different. It is the online version of Microsoft Outlook. When you're looking for your calendar here, you're going to still look on the left side of your screen where you see the tab that says calendar. Once you click that, your calendar will open very similar to the app version that's on your computer that I've already showed you. So here, let's say that you want to... Um, start a meeting for next Wednesday, the 28th. So you can do this by clicking on the calendar, that date, and then you still have the same options of add a title, invite attendees, where are you going to do this, um, add a description, or if you have to attach any documents, this is where you could do this. So same thing, let's do CIS and Ed Tech Integration. And then I still want to invite Casey. Now, one thing you're going to notice with the online version, the addresses pop up automatically. So I've got Casey. I want to invite Ryan. Um, and let's say I want to invite Brittany to this as well. So you can see that all of these names will pop up. Now, you're also going to get suggested times. This is a time that everybody is available. So let's say we're going to do it from 930 to 10. That looks great. Everyone's available. This is a really nice feature of the online Outlook is that it kind of populates things a little bit quicker. Um, once you've done that, we can put in a room location. So this one already has a couple different things that I have previously used. So I'm going to just use Metro Tech South Bryant Campus. And then in my description, I will put in the conference room downstairs. 
Now, if I had a document or anything I needed to add, right here's where I would do that. You can notice that I have an option for attaching something and also inserting pictures if that's something that you need to do. Now, many of you will have your Teams set to automatically create a Teams meeting, which means it's online via webcam. I have mine toggled off, so if you're wanting to do an online meeting, you would just simply click this, and now this is going to be a Teams meeting, so it's going to send a link to everyone once it's time for the meeting. But again, for this purpose, I'm going to say no, this is in person. Um, now, here's we have some response options. Um, we can request them, and then you're allowing forwarding if other people are wanting to come. You also have the option of how often do you want to be reminded about this meeting. So 15 minutes before, 10 minutes before, a day before, a week before, you can set that however you'd like. Once this part is set, all you have to do is go right here to send, and you can save, I'm going to save it as a draft, but you can send this, and this is going to send that meeting request to those people that I have emailed and put in the email list or put in the name list. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just say this is a draft for right now. Now you can see it says draft on my calendar. So if yours was an actual meeting, it's going to just pop up like any of these other ones that like are already there. So this is how you operate creating a meeting in Microsoft Outlook online. And there you have it. Microsoft Outlook's calendar features got you covered when it comes to setting up meetings. Now, if you found this video insightful or helpful, remember to like, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching. Can't wait to see you all next week.